All right, guys. So um, the last video I did was of these guys' enclosures, and I was barely able to get anything of them moving around in the video. And uh, this is the male spicy boy who just recently shed in the last couple of days. He is a captive bred California liar snake. They're called liars because of that shape on the top of their head that resembles the musical instrument, the lyre, L-Y-R-E. These guys are desert species, desert and scrub. They spend uh, a lot of their time on rock faces or in low shrubs. They're very agile climbers. They are rear fanged, mildly venomous colubrids. Venom uh, has been recorded as being significant on, in a couple of cases, um, both of which, to my knowledge, were cases where the animal was allowed to chew on the person for several minutes, up to like 15, 20 minutes. Um, which, you know, if you let any animal chew on you that long, you're going to have issues, regardless of venom. Um, other than that, they really don't cause much of an issue for people. Their venom is meant for small lizards and things like that. Um, in the wild, like I said before, these guys do feed mostly on uh, small lizards, maybe occasional desert toads, things like that. Uh, small rodents and birds, and occasionally even bats. They get up to close to four feet, not quite on average. This one is, I think about a year and a half old. And he is feeding exclusively on uh, road, uh, mice right now. Right now he eats two to three uh, fuzzy mice at a time. Probably in the next four or five months, he'll move up to hopper mice. You want to be careful not to overfeed them when they're doing mice. I only feed him about every 10 to 14 days. Um, just because mice are much more nutrient rich than, say, a lizard. A small, like a small, um, I don't know, sage lizard or something like that that this guy would normally eat. He's a little bit uh, aggro when you first get him out, but he calms down as soon as he realizes you're not going to hurt him. He's really easy to work with. The female takes a little bit longer to, to calm down. Let's see if I can get a see if I can zoom this in for you. Let me get a good shot of his face. have to excuse the shakiness. I'm trying to hold the phone with one hand. I love the eyes on these guys. Uh, a friend of mine has a theory that these might be more closely related to the Boyega than what they're currently classified as. And if I remember correctly... The scientific name on this is Trimorphodon viscatatus. I may have to look that up. I'll, I'll put a I'll put it up in text on there before I post the video. Or it's actually I think it's uh, Trimorphodon, Trimorphodon lyrophane. Say actually, I think the viscatatus is the Sonoran lyre snakes. Anyway, these guys are really cool. Very few people have these in captivity. Uh, even fewer have them captive bred. I was fortunate enough to be given two of these guys. 
and hopefully when they're old enough I can get them to breed and return the favor pay it forward so to speak very good climbers they use every part of their body to hang on even the tail but they're also not afraid to drop several feet so I kind of got to hold on to him because he'll drop to the ground and I don't want him to disappear into the grass anyway hope you guys like it